Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Long time no see. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to quickly give you a, a bit of an update on, on um, events of late as I've not been online for a few weeks and I need to give you a few explanations. So, uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to quickly show you, um, I'm going to show you some developments. For anyone who um, knows the shop, um, this will look a bit different. So we've got a wall here by the window. So that, that's the door next to what normally would be the window. So our office has moved around a little bit. Um, and uh, obviously these are all guitars. These are all guitars queuing up um, for the workshop preparation, as are these here, um, here and around me here. So different guitars. Anyway, um, look, this is, okay. This was part of the display. It kind of is still part of the display, but you come through here and now you have uh, my desk. So that's why I put the light on. Uh, so I work amongst the guitars here. So that's my working area here. And then you come round and then that's where Teresa works. So, um, so um, yeah, so this is, this is basically our office now. So I've got my kind of control centre here, um, and I'm always just a stone's throw from Sally, just sits just there. So Sally's in customer service, and John, now John I haven't spoken to you about at all because I've been so preoccupied with my own life events, um, uh, but John is now working with me full time as my uh, right hand man, and he's absolutely lovely, and I'm so sorry I haven't had a chance to talk to you about him. Uh, but you'll get to hear. You've been chatting to him for the last month online, maybe. And then look. Uh, I'm going to look stupid now. Um, but this is my window display. There we go. Eastman, a sign. Proper window display. Oh yes. That's my um, my Warsaw straps, and I've got them on some of my on my guitars. Look. There you go. I'll go back in because I look a bit stupid. Um, so now look, when you come past my shop, it doesn't look quite so, um, doesn't look quite so, um, you know, yeah, okay, box is in the window, but it's not too bad. <laughs> um, now, come back into the security of my, my, my abode. Um, my beautiful, look, handmade leather belts. Um, absolutely beautiful they are. Look, amazing. Um, different stitches, cream stitch. We've got brown with orange stitching. We've got brown with cream stitching. These are all absolutely beautiful. Look, excuse me. Ta-da. That's the box. How lovely is that? Um, and then you've seen all this sort of stuff before. Um, all my beautiful Eastman guitars, Gordon Smith. Uh, oh my goodness, these are the kind of things I'll be talking to you about soon. Uh, can you see that? Oh my goodness. One thing is those two cork guitars are absolutely incredible. I'll be talking about those shortly. Then in front of me here, I've got this unbelievable Lakewood guitar. I'll be talking to you about that too. It goes on and on. There's so many developments going on right now. Um, a little bit overwhelming. Here we go. Look, unbelievable Lakewood guitars. Beautiful. Uh, this is what I've been dying to talk to you about. More developments from Court. I'll be talking to you about this. Uh, that is the P8. Just been uh, uh, just just now available. Uh, comes in an O8 and a D8. Uh, so these are all things. That's got a torrified spruce top. Torrified spruce top, um, absolutely beautiful inlays, beautiful headstock design. Where are you? There. Uh, open Grovers, open gold Grovers. So much going on. So, I'm going to take a seat. Um, where are you? There. Am I looking in the right place? Am I looking at you now? Um, yes. Now, yeah, the reason why I want to, um, 
all I really want to be doing is getting back into talking to you about stuff that I love because there have just been just a million and one different developments going on. Um, I was, and the wonderful thing is when you are busy and you are so kind of, you know, you're kind of driven and lots of fingers in pies and, 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 and looking forward to new developments. When the wheels fall off, uh, it, it kind of hits you harder, I suppose. And um, I didn't want to do any more videos until I had explained why I've been so off the radar uh, for about four weeks. <clears throat> so, uh, without trying to make it sound too dramatic, um, it's probably fairly reasonably understood that I have uh, I suffer what I'd call um, or I live with what I'd call health anxiety. Um, it sort of manifests itself as health anxiety because I think I'm just basically an anxious person. Um, it's it's something I've lived with all my life, and um, I just want to talk about it a little bit so that you can kind of uh, just sort of just be fully in the picture. I want the videos that I'm doing to reflect my real life and my. Uh, it's meant to be a fly on the wall about the ups and downs of working, doing this sort of work, as much as provide, as much as it is providing you information to help you as well. Um, I would like to believe that the videos serve a greater purpose than just buying a guitar on the day. And so therefore, if I can provide a video that helps anybody out there in any kind of circumstance, then, then I'm, I, I feel I, I'd like to do that and share my feelings with you. So, um, so if you're not interested in hearing about my uh, anxiety, <laughs> Please turn off now, because I, I promise you this video channel isn't all about my life and anxiety. And there will be many, many videos all about guitars. So please, please don't give it a thumbs down. Just don't watch it, please. Um, so for those of you who are still uh, coping with watching me, um, I'll, I'll quickly explain a few things. Um, so I, I know that I've always had anxiety right from um or i've always i've always been a, a thinker thinking very deeply about things right from uh the age of seven or eight years old i can remember i literally remember the words of my headmaster saying the trouble with you richard and i think i may have even referenced this before um the trouble with you richard is you think too much and that's kind of something i've always remembered that that kind of was considered a problem or an issue you know the trouble with you is now I can't blame my headmaster or say that's why I have anxiety because I'm sure <clears throat> the reason he was saying that was because I was running away from school at the time <laughs> um, so uh, I used to go to a village school and I'd, I'd run away from school I would worry about I remember the Falklands War and thinking we were gonna have you know army guys in my back garden um, when the um, we have something called the uh, Bulldog Bash and every year if the Bulldog Bash came round uh, which is uh, people on bikes I'd be I'd be fearful of the concept of all these bikers coming in and you know because I've seen films and you know I suppose I'd like just an overactive imagination probably you know um, and um, so I was just a worry war you know right from right from an early age and um, as it took me many, many years to kind of, uh, kind of realise that, that it comes from a chemical imbalance, and um, so you, you know, your brain releases, as you may know, uh, um, you have to have a serotonin, and uh, the serotonin is, you know, you need a certain level of that chemical in the brain, um, and when it drops too low, it, it literally makes you anxious and all sorts of different other things. <clears throat> However, it can also be every person who suffers any kind of anxiety will have a different take on it and a different life that has led down a different path. So many, many, many forms of anxiety. Mine tends to stem around these days around health anxiety uh, because when I was 19, no, 18, when I was 18 years old, I had Hodgkin's disease. So if you don't know what that is, it's a can cancer of lymphoma glands. So... Um, I was between the age of 18 and 21 I was pretty much going through treatments and and I don't want a boy's death with all that so um 
and that took many years of kind of follow-ups and checkups to you know just make sure that um, I'm, I was going to stay okay. So what's this got to do with what's happened recently? Right. So as you may know, I was I as I put on my community page, I had some teeth taken out, um, and if you look at my nice cheeks here, these are all fake. I, um, I could do something really gross, but I won't. But I'm slowly having all these teeth taken out. Um, and then I'll have um, veneers put in. Not veneers, I've had veneers. I've tried all that. I'm, I'll be having, um, you know, whatever they're called. Um, you know, stuff stuck in and um, fake teeth. Anyway, permanent fake teeth. <clears throat> and um, unfortunately, when I had the teeth all taken out, as well as the fact it was a little bit more complicated than they expected and took a lot longer to pull them all out, uh, leaving me pretty shaken, um, I ended up with something called um, dr uh, dry socket. And dry socket is uh, when the air and the nerve endings are all uh, uh, exposed because it hasn't, the healing process hasn't occurred as it should do. Um, and it leaves you susceptible to uh, um, infection in your mouth. So I ended up with infection in my mouth and um, lots of severe pain that was extraordinarily bad. So that led to sort of like 10 days, let's say, of complete like agony and inability to work. And I think when, when, uh, when you are like myself and you do have anxiety, you have a very, I, I have a very controlled lifestyle, if you like, everything's in its place. Um, not because I'm sort of OCD, because uh, I'm not, in, I, I'm not. Um, but I think the, the needing to know how your day is going to pan out is helpful to just, um, so I have, and again, not in an OCD kind of way, you don't think, I don't think of it as being too controlled or planned, but I know that I will have my, my day set out. And, and I know that if I follow that plan, I will get through everything I need to get through. And when you then have a week of not being able to get out of bed, you know, everything just feels like it has fallen apart. Um, so, you know, how many people do I speak? I would normally speak to 20 to 30 people easily in a day, one day. So you multiply that by, and that's on my live chat facility. So, you know, one day is okay, kind of okay, two days, but then to have 10 days of just, inability to get up to do stuff to be able to concentrate on talking to people then you've got your emails that are piling up and you're aware that there's so many people that need to speak to you for one thing and another and i i think and then there's my own routines and my my exercise i normally do and there's all my things i want to do and everything that i'm working on and planning on doing and developing all feels like it's just stagnated and then you start to think well how will I ever get back on my feet from all of this how will I get back on because you can't imagine when you're feeling low how you're going to catch it back up and I'm also worrying the whole time about people I'm letting down and I think again the, the thing is with anxiety is I've never met somebody with anxiety I've never met anybody who suffers from anxiety that isn't in some way what I'd call a caring kind of person. People who have anxiety are often very conscious of other people's feelings. Uh, they're often very motivated, driven. Uh, I, I would say quite often a creative. I'm not talking about myself here. I'm not saying these are all things about myself, but I'm saying just from studying anxiety and people who seem to be of a similar mindset to me in terms of their personality, very often I would say there is this creative, passionate, but also caring, sensitive side to them. Um, almost inevitably sensitive to other people's feelings. So when you are suffering your own issues and not being able to cope with what's going on to you, with you, you're also burdened with the worry of like who you're letting down. Um, and, and, and so it all just becomes a big mess in the mind. And... Um, I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense. Just, I think to people who have any kind of anxiety, this will make some kind of sense. Anyway, I, the reason why I'm talking about the anxiety is because I haven't really actually got to the point. 
I had the teeth out, had the pain. Then I had this crushing, um, uh, uh, I had uh, terrible cramps in my legs. And uh, we, I think it will all boil down to dehydration. From I normally exercise a lot. And because I suddenly couldn't eat or drink, um, then whatever exercise I'd been doing on my legs kind of came home to sort of roost. And, and I ended up with terrible cramps. And the cramps were so bad that I ended up with muscles that were absolutely dreadfully painful and took several days and even now I'm only just really starting to feel like they're normal again but me being me because it was so bad and I'd suffered and I'd had you know teeth out I started thinking like do I have a blood clot or do I have why am I so tired why am I so why are my legs hurting as much as they're doing um, so I ended up having blood tests and, um, you know, every blood test and so on. The doctor was absolutely lovely. He was absolutely amazing. Um, and immediately identified that, look, Rich, I'm going to do the blood tests. And then when the blood tests come back, we'll talk about your feelings and anxiety, which is what we did. And, um, so once you've had your mind pacified that you're not actually dying of a blood clot and, um, you know, your life starts to knit back together again and, you know, the world hasn't fallen apart and I've, I've already got my teeth back into projects and plans and ideas and yes, I'm way behind with everything in terms of, um, and I'm sure I've let a lot of people down. I can normally tell when I've either been on holiday or ill because I normally end up with a rack of one star reviews on my website. Um, the lovely thing is, the difference now is I've got a little team here. So I've got Sally, who's amazing, John, who's throughout. I mean, he's he's literally started just as I was having my teeth out. So he's just been amazing. And I mean, seriously, I don't know why I've been so blessed to have such good people here. Um, Chris is always amazing uh, in the workshop. And my wife, Teresa, I've been feeling terrible for Teresa because she's been having to not only just cope with the kids and the business, everything. She's then had to deal with all my stuff and looking after me when I was really unwell uh, when I couldn't eat and drink I mean my, my mouth was just on fire it was just horrendous couldn't even put water in my mouth it was um <laughs> but I'm all right now I'm okay I'm all right but I wanted to get all that out because I want to kind of I want to say it as it is and I want people to um just be just I don't want to be hiding I don't want to do another review on a guitar and have this spell of my life that's just completely un people are unaware of um and um i could i could do a whole video channel on anxiety <laughs> i mean i could just create a whole new channel it's something that i've even thought about doing just to try and help people because you know coping mechanisms and uh mindfulness that i do and um i've had i've had you know so much experience of how to help myself and to help others and i i talk to other people about their anxiety and and I think I can, I help them. Um, but but um, I, the, that, that's the update anyway. So um, now then, what I want to do next is a, um, I won't say it now, I'll just finish the video there, but I, I'm, I'm, um, I'm hoping to um, do a, a little something else. Uh, but it's nice to be back and um, I hope you're all well and um, I'm really looking forward to getting these videos back in. Uh, but um, just give me, you know, um, don't expect too much because it's always life is always very busy and um, and just one quick thing I love what I do I could not be happier with my life and what I do and when I talk about anxiety please don't let that sort of you know make you think that in some way I don't enjoy this process um, you know and it's, it, I, I'm blessed in every way with everything from my family into my work and what I do um, and maybe that's another reason why when the wheels fall off a little bit in my life, I become quite as anxious because I want everything to remain as perfect as it is. So, okay, cheers. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Bye.